Hey everybody, I'm Tina. And I'm Erica. And we are Mary Mary, Mary. and you're watching Spike, Spike Spielberg, Spielberg Presents. Women, like the color struck thing, you would think that it would be us more than anybody else, but like they really, 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 really are not trying to hear it. Like they, you know what I mean? Like, right. like, 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 like you don't see anymore. Like they're really just like, nah, we're, we're good. We're, we're not gonna. We're a little too dark. We, we're gonna go. We're gonna roll with this. I was surprised to see her sister. Um, I forget her name. Um, uh, that was in um, Diary of, a, of an Angry Black Woman, or um, and she was in um, the Manchurian Candidate with uh, with oh, Denzel uh, Washington. Um, I'm Kimberly surprised. Elise. Kimberly Elise. I'm surprised to see somebody with her facial features get in. You know what I mean? Major roles because that right. to me that's a, that's equally as important. You right. know what I mean? That's true. Like that's true. Any, folks with a wide nose, I'm trying to hear you. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to see that. You know, the president of the blackboxoffice.com. Okay, and what is the blackboxoffice.com? The blackboxoffice.com is essentially um, it's a website destination first, um, and it's set up for one stop to get all of your film information. Um, uh, information, news, trailers. Um, for people who really love movies, we've got all types of information there um, about a wide range of movies. Now when I say a wide range, I mean beyond Hollywood. I mean uh, Nollywood, the movement of African film coming out of Africa. Uh, Bollywood, those films coming out of India. Latin American cinema, Asian cinema. Um, stuff from right here in, in the backyard, like we were just talking about, you know, a couple of films that are being made right here in Charlotte. Um, those are the kind of stories that, um, that we're set up to promote and tell. And multicultural uh, participation in major studio films as well. So, you know, we'll celebrate like when Will Smith does a deal like he's trying to do um, now in, um, uh, in India, well, not in India, for a, a film called Old Boy, which is an uh, old Korean film, great film. Um, from Chan Wook Park. Um, Will Smith and Steven Spielberg are working together to, uh, to bring that film into an American context. I guess based on the success of The Karate Kid, we'll see how well Will does on the international stage. But those are the kind of stories that we want to bring. Like we're doing more than comedies. We're doing more than these crime dramas, like the DMX movies and, the, and you know what I mean, and, 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 and those kind of things. We're doing more than that. And the black box office wants to you know, promote that and talk about that in a real serious light. Okay, cool. So now, I mean, how do people get involved with the black box office? I mean, do, I mean, are you looking to collaborate with filmmakers? Are you looking to collaborate with, uh, you know, uh, distributors? Or, or I mean, who are you looking to attract to the black box office? We um we don't want to be this insiders club for only people who are in the industry, um, because anybody can go to the Hollywood Reporter and and, and get that info and and find that kind of community there. What we're looking for is you. We're, we're looking for people who love movies. Um, and that's, that's, that's our primary audience, are people who love movies. Now, that includes filmmakers, and that includes people in the film industry, but it doesn't mean like we're a site for movers and shakers. Um, what it really means is that we're a, film, we're a site for people who are looking to get involved with film, um, and the Internet is the easiest access point there is. And so if you shoot something short and you're like, well, how do I get it in front of an audience? Well, the black box office is the way that you get that in front of an audience. You come to us and we'll, and we'll upload it and we'll show it and we'll promote it and we'll put it in our newsletter and you know, we'll let people know that your film is happening um, so that you can then take that footage and kind of do your own thing and we'll support you where we can. Another thing that we do um, that's a little bit different than a, a movie blog or, or a site of that nature is um, we kind of come up with marketing solutions um, to help with some gaps in distribution. We know that one of the biggest things is that there are some filmmakers, like I spoke with the, the brother who directed Chameleon Street, Wendell B. Harris Jr. And so Wendell shot this fantastic film, if you haven't seen it, it won Sundance in 1990, and they brought him back out to Sundance this year for the 25th anniversary. Um, and uh, one of the, it's, a, it's a fantastic film, and he owns the digital rights to it. So we are trying to support that particular film and offer it to people so that you can download it now. People haven't seen this film in years. When Wendell was out at Sundance, like everyone from TV1 to BET approached him like, hey, we want to show this on TV. This hasn't been seen in years. How do we get down with it? Now, he has a deal right now with Image, which doesn't exactly allow that to happen um, because they kind of control the, uh, the broadcast rights to the film. But since he has the digital rights to the film, um, 
he can show it. And so that's none of the, one of the things that we'll be doing. We'll be showing um, major films like that. Um, and I do consider Chameleon Street major. Um, and independent films, stuff that just got shot last week. We'll be showing Rough Prince, um, a lot of things like that. This is the reason we got set up. All right, cool, cool. So, and what's the website again? Theblackboxoffice.com. All right, well, there it is. Now, uh, I mean, how did all of this get started, man? I've always been a, a huge film buff. It's, um, it's been, uh, it's just it been in me since I was a kid. Um, my, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and my parents were really supportive. My mom, particularly, was really supportive of the arts. So, um, five, six years old, while a lot of kids were just kind of um, hanging out and going to the playground and stuff like that. My mom's bringing me to the Schomburg. She's bringing me to a, a um, bunch of different museums in Harlem. And that's where I got my first exposure to culture. Um, but also, you know, uh, and I'm, I'm tipping my hat to my age a little bit, but I grew up in Brooklyn um, in the 80s. So at that point, by 1989, by the time Spike Lee had done his thing, well, I just felt like I had found my calling. It was just like, you can, you can shoot this and you don't need like millions and millions of dollars to, to make film. Um, and so that's something I had always wanted to do. So I got into the entertainment build business primarily to do that. Now, my background is in marketing um, in, in entertainment on record side as well as on the interactive side. So I'm bringing that, that knowledge together with my time. I spent also quite a few years in animation. I've worked on Courage for Cartoon Network, Doug for ABC, uh, Sabrina the Animated Series for ABC as well. And so there's a good stretch of my life that I dedicated to the production side of animation. Um, and so I'm combining all of these things to finally live uh, my passion. So I've combined my work knowledge <laughs> with what I really want to do passionately and put them together and, and that's what the black box office is all about. I found that there are people just like me all over the place who don't know that they can live their dreams and so they're struggling and in this kind of economy just the worst thing you want to be doing um, is you know worried about your job at a place that you don't even want to be in the first place um, and so I am really really blessed to be able to follow my passion I'm also supported by a fantastic family who allows me to go after a dream like this um, I'm also married to a crazy film nut um, as well and that really really helps so we can debate movies all day um, and that's really what this is about. It's about these conversations um, happening all over the place. And there wasn't one place online that you could start that conversation from. And that's what the black box office is all about. Shouts out to my main man, 250 grand plus 500 grand, you know what I mean? And 250 in the stash. That's a cool meal. Wherever he go with the camera, I'm there. You understand? Spike Spielberg. I gave him the name. He still ain't gave me nothing. <laughs> Who's Spike Spielberg? Who? <laughs> Spike Spielberg. I don't know who that is. Spike who? Spike Spielberg. I have no idea who that is. Can you tell me? Spike Spielberg is bringing Hollywood to the Queen City. Y'all know y'all heard of him. We like y'all know him. You better know him. You better know. You better recognize. Spike Spielberg is. Damn, girl, I'm told you like bunk beds. <laughs> you like you ballet park for the Flintstones. <laughs> you from Bay Rock? <laughs> man, the show was out the chain, man. My man, Michael Black, some funny. Man, this thing growing each and every week. Tone X and Friends, the hottest Tuesday night in America, Africa, and over your baby mama house. It goes down like that. Uncle House and White Square Man. <laughs> What do you think about Tone X and Friends on Tuesday? He's really funny. He's mad funny. Mad funny. Please believe he is the man. See his productions, be there or be nowhere. It's Y Square Management, victim of circumstance. Go check it out. It's in a local theater near you. And I am in it. Hey, hey.